G'day everyone. This is part two uh, of how to make a tr spot welder using an old electric arc welder transformer. This project couple started a couple of months ago when I started using a microwave oven transformer and uh, decided it wasn't big enough so I got this old welder, ripped out the secondary uh, coils and wrapped some two slash uh, welding cable around it. Um, it's taken me quite a while to get to this stage. It's been fairly busy, but I've, since the first video got posted, I've added a couple of bits. Uh, first one is the electronic timer and also a 16 amp circuit breaker. Now the electro electronic timer has about five, six different modes in it, but for my purposes, I only just use the one. Now you'll see on the top display uh, here, um, that is it from what I can gather just a delay from when you actually activate it or start it to the time it sort of counts down and then it actually activates the second one which is how many seconds or minutes that you want the actual circuit to be open and switched on um, now to set it uh, you basically uh, just press the set button the top display blinks you set the t time using the up and down arrow hit the set button again and the bottom display will blink and again you set the seconds or minutes uh, using those displays uh, buttons then you wait six seconds and it automatically saves it to activate it just press the start reset button and you're in business now I've also added a uh, 40 amp uh, I think it's 90 to uh, 460 volt AC uh, electronic state uh, relay which is that one there it's got the heat sink underneath it now both of the timer and um, uh, relay operate off a of battery 12 volt I think the actual uh, relay will go up to about 32 volts but I just decided to connect them up the same um, originally I was going to put a 12 volt power adapter in it and remove the battery but I didn't have one that was uh, had enough um, current to drive the lot so I ended up with the battery for the time being. Now as you can see that's the two sets of uh, cable that I've replaced and uh, that's pretty much the interior done. Uh, now at the moment it's only just partially completed I still got to put the outer frame on and the handle and all that sort of stuff but that'll be for a later video. I've tested it out and it works reasonably well. Um, now I've just got some uh, stainless steel rod here, it's 6mm uh, and just so as a demo to show everybody that it's working. I tried using galvanized which works quite well, the only thing is that you can see the, ox the oxide on it and it covers everything so the side to stop using it. Um, Stainless is much cleaner. So just to give you an example I'll switch it on and show you how it is. Now to activate it you just basically uh, switch, switch that on and it counts down. And that was it. Now basically uh, the hardest part is working out how many seconds to actually use for any given item. Uh, I started off with four seconds and it was really way too much. You can see it sort of like totally melted that end there. So I tried two seconds and that was fine but I think you could have done a bit more so this last one is set on uh, uh, three seconds. I'll just pull it out and show you. So, if you can see that, uh, it's sort of welded the top one into the bottom. I've bashed these with a hammer and they're quite strong, uh, so they're not breaking apart or anything like that. Quite happy with that. Now, in the original uh, video, there was a couple of flat bars here which uh, one of the cables was bolted to because when I originally wound it, the cables weren't long enough. So. I didn't like that so I've cut them off, ground them down and I've made a copper sleeve on the lathe, buttered the two pieces of cable together, crimped them down and soldered them 
and then put a lug on it. Now both the cables connect directly to the brass, uh, sorry, to the copper contacts, so that should be a lot better than it was before. I was originally thinking about putting in uh, an extra one, um, and uh, sorry, an extra uh, cable. In between there is a gap here, and it's got a hole on the other side there. Um, but seeing how it works, I don't think I'll bother anymore. So that's pretty much about it. Uh, when I get the the rest of the case finished, I'll post up another video and show you. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like this video, just subscribe. Occasionally I put up new projects and you'll get notified uh, when they or new updates appear on on the channel. Thank you. Bye. I've been asked to uh, just to melt something, um, just to show how much power these things have. Uh, using an electric arc transformer instead of the microwave oven transformer. So I found a uh, M12 high tensile steel bolt and I've cleaned up the ends to make a good contact and I've also set the um, timer for 30 seconds but I probably won't hold it there that long as it'll probably start glowing anyhow. So just bear with me I'll switch it on. Okay, here we go. So that's after 10 seconds. Twenty seconds. I think I'll stop there before it melts all over the place. So as you can see, uh, having the two coils in there certainly has enough power to do what a bit of spot welding will do. I may not actually put in the third set of coils and uh, just leave it at that. Anyhow, um, I'll see you in part three. Thank you. Bye.